Hello and welcome to the first episode of my Minecraft Century City series. Today we'll be touring the first building I constructed on this map, the courthouse and city hall of Century City. This tour will take us across town, but I plan on making this video series one major building at a time, with some videos covering entire districts as a way of glossing over the more menial structures without focusing on them too intently. My goal here is to cover everything, but it will either be impossible or simply too boring given the immense scope of the project that my friends and I have been working on for over a decade now. Having been founded on January 1, 1900, Century City is a living, breathing, modern 20th century city, hence the name, and in that spirit, we have made every effort to accommodate the needs of the common man living within this new industrial era. Unlike other Minecraft cities, meant to look good in a screenshot, and impress with sheer size when viewed from a distance. Each building is meant to be functional as well as attempt to tell a story through its design. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video on social media. The first part of the tour will be the courtroom. As the creator of this building, and therefore the founder of the city, I am the mayor. The only judge, police chief, as well as the CEO of about half of the major corporations in this city. I can assure you that despite all outward appearances, this arrangement does not constitute any form of conflict of interest whatsoever. We are now standing in the audience section of the courtroom. To the right is the table for the defense attorneys. To the left is the table for the prosecution. In the center is the podium for the accused. That's the jury box, which is on the same side of the bench as the witness stand. Normally the court reporter sits in the caged area over here, but in the case of extremely violent offenders, the defendant sits in the cage, and the court reporter uses the podium.
That's it for the courtroom. Let's head outside and take a look at the amphitheater. Directly outside the courtroom is a small amphitheater for public use. It is a free venue for live performances as well as political speeches. The podium is marked with the official seal of Century City, which can also be seen inside the courtroom and other official buildings. The theatre also has an obligatory backstage area, perfectly adequate for a public park but nowhere near as equipped as our professional theatre across town. Let's head back inside. This is the activation switch for the city-wide emergency alarm. Tensions between the European powers have been escalating in recent years. That, along with the growing threat of Serbian insurrection against the Ottomans, as well as rumors of a subversive revolutionary element developing within the Russian Empire, some of my more paranoid advisors believe that a great conflict is on the horizon. Some even suggest that the coming war could span across all of Europe or even the entire world. Obviously I have no desire to lend credence to such outlandish conspiracy theories, but if an invasion alarm makes my citizens feel safe, it only makes sense to provide them with one.
Now let's take a look at how the system works. Since the mechanics are stashed within the basement of the lighthouse, we may as well cover the lighthouse itself while we're down there. This mine cart provides the pulsating signal to the redstone lamps in the lighthouse. This shorter loop provides the signal for the alarm. This is the input wire coming from City Hall. I'll hotwire it now as a test. This is the output wire for the alarm system. This is the output wire for the lighthouse. In my opinion, the top of the lighthouse is one of the best places to get a view of Century City. Like the Statue of Liberty, the lighthouse is meant to be the first structure that a weary traveler sees when he arrives in the city by steamship. It is a symbol of hope and prosperity.
Finally, let's return to City Hall and take a quick look at the second floor. There's not much to see up there, just some office space, but it'll be a decent place to conclude the video. Up in this open courtyard is where the utilities commissioner the Secretary of Defense the Treasurer The city planner, and I, the mayor, work. My office is set up as a conference room for meetings with my four advisors. Let's take in the view from the Utilities Commissioner's office. Thanks for watching. Next week we'll be taking a look at the colorific textile mill. Try not to get your hand caught in the machines as you reach for that subscribe button.